Hey Tubes, got something a little different for you today. This is our uh, Maytag 92 engine, the single cylinder uh, hit and miss. Uh, me and Racer had it running, but I checked the capacitor on it. They call them condensers, but the capacitor the same thing. And uh, it, was, it had a high reading and I didn't like it, so what we did is we took it out and put this modern one in there. That little orangey uh, brownish thing. But uh, we, you ground one end out, and then the other end goes to positive, and you tape it up. And I, I don't like it, you know. It's just a a quick shitty fix. I mean, the the capacitor is good, you know. I mean, it's it's modern and it'll work and probably last over a hundred years. But uh, what I did is I I took the old capacitor and I I what they what they call stuffed it. I stuffed it. It's like rebuilding it. So here's here's the the thing that belongs there. The original capacitor, it had a high reading, you know, it was reading about 49.50 and uh, I think they should be around 25, 0.25. But anyway, you can see where it, it used to be there, where the, the white spots are and where that little screw is, that's where it went. So what I did is I, I replaced it with this, a modern one, and uh, what I... Uh, what I did with this old one here is I I stuffed it. They call it stuffed it, rebuild it, whatever. With with uh, this white one, yellow one here. And uh, uh, I took pictures of it. I didn't take video. I took pictures of it. So maybe I'll uh, I'll post them and explain how it's done. Uh, see, I don't like the, the way the tape is because once once that tape that, that that's that's a positive connection there. And once uh, once the wheel gets on there, it's only going to come off and short out, and then you're going to have problems. So I'm going to show you the remedy to that. I'm ready. Let me take the tape off. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, here's what it looks like without the tape on there. I'll, I'll show you what's got to be done. You got uh, one wire that comes out of the capacitor and goes to here. That's the ground. But then this other side here, I just put a nut and bolt in it. Let's see if I can focus on it. I put a nut and bolt in it, and this here. Uh, wire comes from your coil and goes to your points so that's uh, positive and that, that can't ground out, if that grounds out you, you, your machine just don't work so let me clean this up and uh, show you what I did yeah something too, let me show you this capacitors come in all different sizes and shapes and stuff but as long as they're the same, the right value it doesn't matter what, what they look like or, or what the shape is as long as they fit like right there it is, there's an older one and there's one made by Mallory, that's another older one but here's one made by Pyramid, you know they're all different shapes and colors and sizes there's another one there these things here they call them gumdrops because they look like gumdrops looks like a chiclet to me but and even here this is the one I'll be using you know the newer ones uh, they, they last forever, they last a couple hundred years probably, you know they're they're encased in epoxy and stuff. The older ones are just wrapped in, in tar and wax. And they, they, they last, even then, they, they still lasted, you know, 7,500 years. But here's another uh, magneto and capacitor. It's a little different than the one I, I, I was uh, stuffing. It's a little smaller. And uh, the one that I replaced it with, I probably could squeeze it in there, but... Uh, you know, it uh, it wouldn't be worth it. I'd find a smaller one. And even here on this mag, this one's a little different too. You know, so they're all size and shapes. What I'll have to do instead of using that big one, I would uh, I would get something like this. This is the same value, but if you look at if you compare them, it's just a little smaller, and that looks like it would fit nice. The right value and everything. Same with that one. That would fit inside there. But even here, you know, they got the these three here are all the same value. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to, to move you. Even another one. All three, all four of them are the same. But that's uh, they're easy to get. They're cheap. They're only uh, cost about the five, a nickel a piece or something like that. But here's something that's good. If, if you guys don't have one of these, I know some meters have uh, 
cabinets on them and stuff like that. But if you don't have a, a capacitor meter, they're worth getting. They're, only, they're cheap, you know, you get them on the eBay for like 20 bucks. You see, this one here is, uh, I don't know if I can focus on that, but it's 0 0.22. So uh, I check them before I put them in anyway. Let's turn this on just to make sure they're good. You know, it's possible that uh, they're, they're no good. So I check them before I uh, put them in. And there you go, 0.22. So uh, that's something to think about. Another reason I use that one is because I've got so many of them. You know, I got this is a bag of a hundred. I got another bag of a hundred, all the same ones. So I got I got enough that to last me a lifetime. Matter of fact, if I pass them down to the little racer, he can pass them down to his great great grandchildren. There's still be plenty of left. So that's that's one of the reasons I use that one. All right, let's continue on. And we'll show you how to put them in. All right, this is what we're starting with here. This is uh, your capacitor. And then uh, what you gotta do is uh, cut off the top, cut the tip off, grind it off, or whatever you gotta do to get it. And then this here, you gotta drill it out. That's what you get when you drill it out. You make sure it's clean. That's what it looks like when it's cleaned out. And then you go and you drill a little hole in there, somewhere in the base, anywhere. And then shove one end of your capacitor in there. And uh, solder it. And then you got the other end sticking out. Then you got to solder the tip back onto the other end of the capacitor. And that's it. That's what it looks like when you're done. Then you check it, and it kind of checks out right. You're ready to go. All right, here. Here you go. So we got the, the old capacitor with a brand new one stuffed inside there. And you see over here with the tip, you have the screw, so there's no chance in a positive. Uh, Connections are hitting, and it looks original. So there you go. I hope that uh, explained a little bit to somebody, and uh, maybe it helped you out a little. Alrighty, enough of this.